Adding and subtracting fractions. Yay, fractions. Um, so I know some of you guys have a calculator that will do this for you, but to get credit on a quiz or test, I do want you to show me that you know how to do your fraction work. Um, so when you add or subtract fractions, the thing we have to remember if it's an addition or subtraction problem, you absolutely must have that common denominator. So this first example, we have 2 thirds plus 5 fourths. Go ahead and look at your denominator. Is it the same? No, so we have to make it the same. So we think, what's the, sm and if you get a lowest common denominator, it's less work in simplifying in the end. The smallest number that both 3 and 4 fit into is 12. So we're going to take this 3, multiply it by a 4 to get it up to 12. But we do have to multiply the top by a 4 also. Whatever the bottom gets multiplied by, the top multiplied by the same thing. This new fraction becomes an 8 over 12. Other side, same idea, we need to get that 4 up to a 12, so that will be multiplied by 3. Numerator also. Go ahead and do that multiplication. Bring down the plus sign. And we end up with 15 over 12. All right, so now when you do your addition, you just did all that great work to get a common denominator, so keep your common denominator the same. You know, you work for it, so don't go change it. Keep it as a 12, and then really all that we do is add the numerators, just this 8 plus this 15. And 8 plus 15 is 23. Sounds good. So 23 over 12 does not reduce, so you can leave it as an improper fraction like that if you would like. Or, if you prefer the mixed number, I'm okay with that right now, um, 12 goes into 23 once without going over, and then what's left, you have 11 left out of 12 to get it up to that 23. So either answer is good. All right, this other example, I wanted to make sure to do something with a mixed number so that we knew how to deal with that. Anytime you have a mixed number, go ahead and turn it into an improper fraction so that we can do just what we did over here, common denominator, go ahead and do the addition or subtraction and whatnot. So to get that into an improper fraction, what we're going to do is we take this 4, multiply it by the 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. So we multiply that one, and then we're going to add that 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. That's going to be your numerator. Over, and then just keep your denominator the same. Bring down your minus sign, bring down your 8 fifths, and now let's try to find the lowest common denominator between the 5 and the 4. So 5, 4, it's not common, but they both will fit into 20. That's the smallest number. So over here, 5 times a 4 will get it up to 20. Multiply the numerator by a 4 also. So we have 32 over 20 minus. Now 4, let's multiply it by 5 to get it up to 20. And we have 45 minus 20. So we just got a common denominator. So we want to keep that common denominator the same. So we know it's going to be over 20. And now we just have to do 32 minus 45. It's going to be a negative number. We end up with negative 13 over 20, which that's not going to reduce. So we'll just leave negative 13 as our final answer on that one. So when you're dealing with a mixed number, just go ahead and turn it or yeah, turn it into an improper fraction and then follow the same, you know, just add or subtract the fractions with common denominators like you would any other fraction problem.